One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Ah! I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. likes to make an appearance once in a while. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. A bit of a detour, so follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? 
Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still- Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor- Enough! Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. It was worth losing a few house points for- You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the- Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should- I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. I'll keep an eye out for you. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Protego! When you're the best at something. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Join the goblins in the uprising. Where, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of 1752. The minister for magic was Albert Boot. Oh, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fine, fine. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. <sighs> and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Revelio.
Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evan and... Those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Is that... Goodness! My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. 
here. Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, Akio! Worthless pile of tin! Incendio! Revelio! Revelio. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Accio. Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Incendio! Revelio.
kill. Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not That's not helpful, you worthless pile of <sighs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Akio! What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs>
Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Let me go. will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. 
Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. Right. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. Conjuring? Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the... You should have acquired some for a potion station. I did. While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and you should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already...
these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds.
Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know we discovered this room together. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he makes. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson. Very well. First, you can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully. Return to me once you've gathered it. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on. The altering spell will allow you to... You can change the colors, patterns. Let's get started, shall we? What?
Just aim your wand at any... and perform the altering spell to customize it. I have some questions. Yes? How do I use them? Sim you can change an item's appearance. Thank you. I'll be here. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about... Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke. Now you have learnt a good bit. Thank you, Professor. Indeed. No matter how...
even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. Good. I'll leave you to it. I'd like to ask you... Of course! I would like the room.
Off on another adventure, are we? Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. First, let me thank you for what you did. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. Well, you took the fall for me. That... Did you find what you were looking? I did. But something was missing. I'm not sure here. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. Lumos! She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Sting brings on. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that it's nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it.
Incendio. Can bring her. That's it. I think well I've got done. it. I have to say, I and the first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day. This is exactly the type of... There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't... Haven't been here in some time. I'm sorry about your sister. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Me time. Just let me know. Ah, oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been... Well, meeting a new student will be precise. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. I'm not sure where to... You said something was missing from what... Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all and... Nothing gets past the... I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took... Gringotts? What? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. A porky? Well, it's all a bit... I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was... Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vi I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you. A bit more time. Spend as much time here as... And remember. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful. Does it get any more cozy? Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I don't know about centaurs, but there hasn't been a... Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mm -hmm. Albie Weeks at your service. 
Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I've got a few rare you weaving. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be... Sounds quite the... What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. looking for today. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then I could complete work on my first up. That sounds int- Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch- Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure- Rebellion. <laughs> ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah. 
Sniper. Incendio. Confirm them. Oh, Black hadn't cancelled it. We wouldn't be looking for the blast. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he know? I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely caught wind of you showing off in fly. Seems someone's jealous of me, Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Raven. Can you tell me more about- St Stalling. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them pop. So, let's see what... Actually, why not? I'm so looking forward. Hey. 
This is rather fun. Brilliant. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. <sighs> Incendio! Kinbringer! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope? Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a wreck. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been... 
a little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely... Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential. Why would anyone... No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their way. Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flights. Nor do they appreciate... I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoon. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik... I'm excited to... I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee... Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. This place has seen better days. Good for you. Good 
Incendio. Kendrigo. Eight legs is simply too many. Rebellio. Revelio. What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellion. Rebellion. Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Incendium. Does that meant to be an attack of some sort? 
Let me also. Levioso. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo.
incendiary. Rebellion.
I know what that means. Merlin trial. This looks intriguing. Let the safer now. Could it be a Merlin trial? Confringo! Tricky after all, Merlin. Long ago, no doubt. Bring up. 
myself would be proud. I'll let try when I see one. Let me know, sir. Confringo! Akio! Confringo! Incendio! Confringo! Incendio! Repairer. Revelio. Levioso. Protego. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Levioso! Confringo! 